Okay, so, um, since my record is, you know, all done and stuff, I decided to send it out to, uh, a record label, you know, see what they think. Uh, this happens to be my favorite record label. So, hopefully they'll sign me and they'll like it, but, you know, you never know, but, you know, yeah, chance they're gonna like it. So, um, alright, let's call the guy some charge of all that. Hopefully, it will uh, go well. Kyle Gordon. Hi. Hi. Who, who's this? Oh, um, I'm sorry. I thought you had me on your phone or something. Um, this is Matt from AO6. Matt from AO6. Yeah. Wanted jog my memory a little, Matt from Um, oh, I'm sorry. The I sent you the CD about um, the the robot who gains consciousness. Did you send it in? I sent it in like a week ago. Okay. Well, it was like. Yeah. I I got yeah. I sent that like yesterday. I know that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what'd you think? Oh, that's why you're calling. Um, not much, that's for sure. Um, I can certainly say I'm not still listening to it. Um, what, what would you like to know? Well, wait, what do you mean? Uh, I mean, the stuff worth listening to again, I listen to again. I thought, I mean, we're talking like the gay robot story, right? Like, oh, I'm a robot, teach me to love, or some, something no. like that. No, this is about the assassin robot who gains conscious thought. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm not. Did you listen to that robot one? That was alright. I don't even know. Like, the teach me, teach me a lot. Remember, this is all the joke. Teach me a lot. What is this fucking teach me a lot shit? Did you listen to that one? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Matt, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, actually. My guy Frank, he's the head of A and R here. He just uh, he just walked up. He listened to your record. And do you know what A and R is? No. What's A and R? It's artist repertoire. What they do is they kind of like they find the artists worth working with, and they kind of develop them and get them like where the label wants to be. Does, does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. He, he's the head of that. He's he's pretty good. He's found some of our best stuff, but he mostly now just like works with all the other people. But he's being awesome. He gave it with him. I'm gonna put you on with him for a little bit. Uh, okay. Maybe he can give you a better idea. Does that, does that sound good? Yeah, no, that sounds great. Okay, yeah, hold on just, just one second. Here he is. Parker Mullen. Hey, hi, this is Matt from AO6. Matt, the, the, the gay robot guy? Gay, gay robot Matt? Yeah, it's gay robot Matt. No, uh, what is, where does this gay stuff come from? This is the assassin robot. See, I didn't really, I didn't really get the assassin vibe out of it. I mean, I heard the... That's not it at all. Maybe you should take another listen and listen closer to the lyrics. There's nothing gay about it. The, the lyrics were terrible. They were uh, about some robot and uh, his, his plight for, for love. It, what? There was not even any mentioning of love. Where are you getting that? <laughs> I, I'll be honest. I didn't really listen to the whole thing. I mean, uh, I was about two minutes in and, you know, my, uh, my pop tarts came out of the, came out of the microwave and... It was just, I, I was hungry, and it just wasn't even worth listening to anymore, so, honestly, I just, I'm sorry, it was terrible. I mean, we have, we have a lot of, a lot of bands coming through here, and, you know, that's kind of what Kyle's motto says, is make me money, and, you know, this, this just doesn't make him money, it's just, you need to get what sells. I mean, we have, we have a Fall Out Boy trio band that is, that it's just, it's better than this. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that makes money, it's just, that's what we want to hear. We want to hear money, money through the speakers is, is really our 
to do here. And I know, I, I know you try, and I'm terribly sorry, but it's just, it just is not the material we're looking for. I mean, you know, you know, Frank, Frank, Frank. Oh, Kyle, Kyle, okay. Frank, Kyle, I'll talk to you. Okay. Hey, Matt. I'm sorry about Frankie. He's like the money guy. Um, and I'll be honest. He probably learned it from being here too much. That's the way it works. We try. You know, we don't want to show that to people. I get it. You're, you're, you're. Are, are you in the band? Do you manage the band? What do you do? I am the band. You're everybody. Yeah. You're that whiny voice kid? Okay. Whiny what? Yeah, th see, I listened to it. Does that prove it? There you go. But but the thing is, you know, we try not to stress to the artist, like you, but you know, it's true, I get it, you want to make music, you're an artist, but it's true, you know, what's music if the music's not making you money? You know, why, and, if, and, you, and you can't deny that, you care about it too, why else would you be calling a record label if you don't want money? You know, he's right, that's well, the way it is. And how could this make me money? But it's Tell not... It couldn't. It's not about the money. It's about the music. It's then, why about you, then, then why are you calling me if it's not about the money? Well, because, I mean, I'd like to get signed. I'd like to put this music to a bigger audience. I'd like more people to hear it. I'd like to have yeah, a label that's what I'm Who's, who's going to listen to this? People are going to hear it, and they're going to turn it off. It's, it's catchy stuff, man. I mean, some of those choruses really get stuck in your head. I mean, this could, this, look at how well Coheed and Cambria has done. Look at how well Angels and Airwaves has done. I mean, those are both... the last time anybody talked about Coheed and Cambria. At least they have monsters, not gay robots. There are monsters in this. What, what, no. G gay robots, okay, fine, yes. Gay robots are monsters, I agree, but like, we can't advertise it that way. <laughs> it's, no, I mean... What about there's a whole there's a whole fucking song just dedicated to the the monsters. There's a whole, what? There's a whole song, one song. It's track like eight or something. It's called the Psycho Squad. That's about a group of monsters. Okay, and and, and who's gonna want? Okay, so one song. Who's gonna want to? So you're saying we can sell that one song and nothing else? Well, they come back. I mean, it's it's a story, but that's who's going to who's going to listen to this? I just I mean, mentioned, look look at Coheed and Cameron and Angels and Airwaves, sci-fi concept related bands, can target those, that audience, maybe not Angels and Airwaves, but definitely fans of Coheed and Cameron, and I mean, like, that could work, this could be sold, I, th I really think this could be sold. Let's go back to what Frankie was telling you, he mentioned we've got this tribute band, the Fallout Boy, Fallout Boy makes money, would you compare yourself at all to Fallout Boy? No, but... Exactly, so there's the money. Fallout Boy... There, there isn't any, there's no money in this. You know, maybe if you follow Boy it up a little bit. You but know, what if you have a bunch of Rolling Stone, follow Boy on the cover. What are you, going to be on the cover of Rolling Stone, you and a bunch of gay robots? Okay, do, can you drop the gay robot thing? I really don't understand where that's coming from. There's nothing gay at all about it. And second of all... There isn't? Could they be? Maybe if there were, like, then... Gays would be like, yeah, gay robots, and then they'd buy, somebody would buy it, maybe. Hey, did you think about that? No, I did not think about that. That that might be an angle you, angle you want to look at. Or maybe, like, for you, when you play live, you could, like, do you dress up as a robot? You could try that. Well, doing something like that would really help if I had, I don't know, a label behind me? Like, you know, you guys, that's why I sent you the record. Well, I don't see it happening. Okay. I really don't. I gave it, I gave it a little Do you want one? Oh, hold on. Um, what flavor? I got steak and cheese and, uh, pepperoni. I'll take two pepperoni. Pepperoni. Yeah, are you, are you getting lunch um, right now, sir? I, what? Are you out, like, eating? No, I'm at the office right now. What's all this? I'm making my rounds. Steak and... Oh, whatever. Um, I really don't see it happening. I give the record a listen. Can't imagine it. You know, Frankie told you, you can't, can't see it happening. Okay. And, and I don't mean just us. I honestly can't see it happening with anybody. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye.